Hi guys, this is Rick at Tasty Guitar. Well, almost every time that somebody contacts me about guitar lessons, I hear the same thing over and over again. People don't know how to apply the modes that they've learned. And of course, one of the most common and useful modes is the Dorian mode. One way I like to use it to create really melodic phrases is by jumping up intervals and using those as a starting point to a larger, more melodic musical idea. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to find these intervals and then we're going to create some really nice phrases using them to get you playing really melodically. So let's jump right in. Okay, so all the exercises and licks I'm going to give you today are going to be out of A Dorian. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just play that mode ascending on one string. Now we can choose any string here, but I'm going to start on this A note right here on the D string. All right, so today we're going to be jumping up intervals of a sixth. Okay, now to find an interval of six, we're going to take the note we're going to start on. In this case, okay, we're going to start on the root. We're going to just going to count up in the scale until we get to the sixth note above it. So our root is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that F sharp note right there would be the sixth interval. Now, if we continue on up, let's go to the next note in the scale. There's our A. We started there. We're going to send on that string to the next note in the scale, which is B. And now we'll just do the same thing. We're going to count up six notes from that B using the A Dorian scale. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be a sixth above that B note. And you just continue on in that fashion. We'll start uh, on the C note now. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just playing up in that A Dorian mode. Find the intervals of six. So, so far we have this. All right, so we learned to harmonize the A Dorian mode in six. Now you're probably thinking, well, what do you do with this? Well, that's really just up to your imagination. This is a great jumping off point to create a larger musical phrase. So if I play my sixth, let's start on this A note, go to that F sharp. I like to do uh, sometimes go up to the next note in the scale. Above that F sharp would be the G note. And then I would maybe skip down a third. Skip that F sharp and go to the note below it in the scale. So we're hitting the note above it and then the note below it. That's just one musical idea. Of course you could do the opposite. You could go, go to the note below it and the note above it. Anyways, it's a nice musical phrase. Either way. Okay, now for the purpose of this exercise, I'm choosing this one. But usually I will look for a place to play it that is makes sense with the fingering. So you can play it like this, or I might play it like this. Same notes. All right, so now that we've come up with a really nice starting point for our lick using that sixth, let's embellish it a little bit further and come up with a really nice phrase. All right, so let me slow that one down a little bit for you here. We're starting with our jump up the sixth from the A to that F sharp, sliding up to that G, going down to the fifth there, the flat five, to the root, the fourth there, the D note, ending on the flat third, the C. Now 
Now, this kind of lick would not really be possible unless we did this jump of the sixth. You're going to create really nice lines by doing these interval jumps, stuff that you won't find if you're just playing scale-wise. All right, so let's use that same pattern that we used on the last lick, but going and starting on the B note, the next note in the scale. So we started that last lick on the A. Let's go up to the B note. Jump up a sixth to that G. And then I'm going above and below it. Same pattern we used on the first lick. Now you can do it with different, different fingering. Like that. Either way. Now let's see what else we can come up with by embellishing this a little bit. Okay, so let's slow this one down a little bit here. We're starting right after the third beat. One, two, three. Sliding into that B note. Going up a sixth. A note in the scale above it, the A. Down below that sixth. So we're keeping the same pattern. Hitting that flat third, ending on the root. So it's really just up to you and your imagination of what you can come up with with this stuff. It's really limitless. Let's slow this last lick down a little bit here. We're sliding up to this F sharp note, jumping up a sixth to that D, sliding down to the C. We're then jumping down an octave from that C note, and going up a, a sixth from that C note to the A. So we got, and then finish it off flat five, the four there, and the flat third. Those jumps of the six intervals really give it a nice sound. All right guys, thank you so much for stopping by today and checking out how to use the Dorian mode musically. I really hope this opened your eyes to the possibilities of using interval jumps in your playing to really give you some more musical ideas that you won't find just playing scale-wise all the time. Of course, you can jump up fourths, fifths, sevenths, octaves. There's a huge amount of possibilities melodically when you start using this concept. Now, as always, if you did enjoy the lesson, please like, share, and subscribe, and come by tastyguitar.com where I have a lot of other lessons for you, and I do teach private lessons via Skype. Thank you so much.